Well, good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer for Monday the 22nd of May 2023. I'm Reverend Amanda from the parish of Brankston Greta Lochinbar. Evening Prayer for Monday is on page 393 of a prayer book for Australia. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 118 verses 19 to 29 and it's on page 118 of a prayer book for Australia. Our reading is from 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 17 to 34. And I acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land and pay my respects to all First Nations people, especially the elders of the Biripai, Waramai and Wanarua peoples, past, present and emerging. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and hope in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit we may abound in hope. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. And we say together the opening canticle, a song of hope. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good tidings to the afflicted, the Lord has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty for the captives and release for those in prison, to comfort all who mourn, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, a garment of splendour for the heavy heart. They shall be called trees of righteousness, planted for the glory of the Lord. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. <clears throat> Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a gift for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. And our psalm. Hundred and eighteen verses nineteen to twenty nine. You can say this with me or in alternate verses with me. On page three hundred and forty eight. Open me the gates of righteousness, and I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, the righteous shall enter it. I will praise you, for you answered me, and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvellous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. O Lord, save us, we pray. O Lord, send us prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord we bless you. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Guide the festal throng up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, I will exalt you. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. God, who wonderfully created us and even more wonderfully restored our humanity, strengthen us by your Holy Spirit to triumph over suffering and death and grant us eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And our reading from 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verses 17 to 34. Now in the following instructions I do not commend you, because when you come together it is not for the better, but for the worse. For, to begin with, when you come together as a church, I hear that there are divisions among you, and to some extent I believe it. Indeed, there have to be factions among you, for only so will it become clear who among you are genuine. 
When you come together, it is not really to eat the Lord's Supper. For when the time comes to eat, each of you goes ahead with your own supper, and one goes hungry, and another becomes drunk. What? Do you not have homes to eat and drink in? Or do you show contempt for the church of God, and humiliate those who have nothing? What should I say to you? Should I commend you? In this matter, I do not commend you. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Whoever therefore eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be answerable for the body and blood of the Lord. Examine yourselves and only then eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For all who eat and drink without discerning the body eat and drink judgment against themselves. For this reason, many of you are weak and ill, and some have died. But if we judged ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged by the Lord, we are disciplined, so that we may not be condemned along with the world. So then, my brothers and sisters, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. If you are hungry, eat at home, so that when you come together, it will not be for your condemnation. About the other things, I will give instructions when I come. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. And we say together the second canticle, a song of God's children. In Christ Jesus, the life-giving law of the Spirit has set us free from the law of sin and death. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. It is the Spirit that enables us to cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit bears witness that we are God's children. And if God's children, then heirs of God. We are heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ. If we share his sufferings now, we shall be glorified with him hereafter. These sufferings that we now endure are not worth comparing with the glory that shall be revealed. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Eternal God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life, grant that we may walk in his way, rejoice in his truth and share his risen life, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our prayers. Hear our prayers, O Lord our God. Govern and direct your holy church, fill it with love and truth, and grant it that unity which is your will. Hear us, good Lord. Give us boldness to preach the gospel in all the world and to make disciples of all the nations. Hear us, good Lord. Enlighten your ministers with knowledge and understanding that by their teaching and their lives they may proclaim your word. 
We ask your blessing on our Bishop Peter, our assistant bishops, Sonia and Charlie, and all their families, loved ones and animals. Give your people grace to hear and receive your word and to bring forth the fruit of the Spirit. And we especially pray for your blessing on the First Nations people of this diocese, including the Awabakul, Birapai, Darkinjung, Gawagal, Gringai, Kamilaroi, Waramai, and Wanarua peoples. Hear us, good Lord. Bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived. Hear us, good Lord. Strengthen those who stand, comfort and help the faint-hearted, raise up the fallen, and finally beat down Satan under our feet. Hear us, good Lord. And this evening we pray especially in our diocesan cycle for the clergy and people of the parishes of South Lakes, Stockton, Swansea and Taree. We pray for the mission to seafarers, chaplains and volunteers and diocesan ordinands in intensive formation and postulancy. Hear us, Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Amen. Good evening and God bless you.